folks, what are we doing today? Today is a two for one special. No frills though. We're not gonna do anything crazy. We're gonna do a beer review and we're gonna do a chip review all at the same time. Chips. I wanted to try out these Pringles Hot Ones for those of you that have ever watched the Hot Ones show. These are Pringles inspired by the Hot Ones show. There's three different flavors. You gotta go to different stores as far as I know to get those three different flavors. So this flavor we picked up at uh, Kroger. I think they have another flavor maybe at Walmart and another flavor at Circle K or something of that nature. I don't think you can get all three flavors at the same store. So we've got the limited time only Pringles Scorching Hot Ones which I don't think this is uh, Los Calientes Verde. I don't think this one is supposed to be super hot. I think this is kind of a medium to mild sauce. But we'll find out. I haven't seen any other reviews on this. We're going to do a review on that. At the same time, Stephanie picked me up some beer, a craft uh, craft selection at Sam's. It had a variety of different beers. We're going to try this out. I've already had one of these out of the case, and I enjoyed it, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a review on it. This is the Kona Light Blonde Ale by Kona Brewing Company. Alright, I have no idea where Kona Brewing is at. Let's see if we can figure that out. Kona Brewing Company, Liquid Aloha. Sit back and relax with a crisp 99 calorie Kona Light in hand. It is as refreshing as that Golden Island moment when the day is winding down, the sun's still warm, and friends gather near Rocky Kalua Pier. Paradise is just a sip away, so soak in a day well lived. One life, right? Let's see if we can find out where. Brewed by Kona Brewing Company, Portland, Oregon. Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So, apparently, Oregon is a reputable source for Hawaiian inspired beers. Okay. L with tropical mango added. Uh, there was a, where is the, let me see if I can find the alcohol content. 4.2 alcohol content. We've got a Indie Brew Works glass that we're going to try. I don't know why I'm saying that. Try it. I had it in this before. Alright. So it does smell kind of fruity. Like I said, I've had this. So it does smell kind of fruity. And smell wise, it does not smell any hoppy at all. Spill a little bit here on the floor. So pretty light color, no floaters. do a test before the chips and a test after the chips. So this won't be as hot as our last beer of the weekend, the uh, Carolina Reaper obviously. Now that it's in the glass it does smell just a little bit hoppier, 
All right, let's give it a taste. All righty. So, just slightly, slightly hoppy. Hoppy enough that I actually like it. It is, it is good. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this beer here. I enjoy this beer. This is a smooth drinking, slight hoppy notes. Um, now it's saying mango. The mango might be just very, very slight. It's not like fruit punchy tasting. It doesn't taste like a wine cooler. Um, it's probably comparable uh, to your American light beers just with the added hoppiness bit of hoppiness so good beer I'm gonna give this beer a I'll probably give this beer a 9 out of 10 possible 10 I could drink these you know on a regular basis I could buy these again I could buy a six packs of pack of these again um, it's not a try it once and I'm done this is a good beer. Yeah, that's pretty good. If you're wanting to explore some hoppiness, just to start getting into some hops, that hop taste, that would be a good beer to start off with. Alright, let's try the Scorching Hot Ones. I'm thinking these won't be as hot as the beer, Carolina Reaper Death Wish beer we had. Alright, so these are Verde. Basically, Verde is green, green sauce. So, yes, it smells kind of like a green sauce. And they are greenish, light greenish. So I'm not smelling super hot. It doesn't smell like mace in your face. Let's see how hot these are. When you open a can of Pringles, do you eat one at a time? Two at a time? Three at a time? I'm a two chipper kind of guy. I like grabbing two of these at the same time. One thing I got to say about Pringles is it's a full can. Have you seen the chips here lately? The chips here lately, the bag is this big and it's full, but it's full of air. By the time you open it, that bag goes like that. There might be this much chips in a bag that's this big. Pringles is one of the companies that has not sacrificed their volume of chips in the container. You buy a full can, you're going to get the whole can's going to be full. And they're still reasonably priced. Enough talking. Let's try these Pringles out. See how hot they are and flavorful. cleanse our palate. This 
here is actually a pretty good combination. Alright, what's the verdicts on the hot ones? I will say these are good tasting chips. Um, they are up there just a little bit. Your average person that likes regular chips and does not like hot stuff at all is going to think these are hot and they're not going to like them. My wife would probably not like these. My other two kids, my older kids, they could probably eat these fairly easily and think they were good and not too hot. So it's not enough to make you tear up, nose run, but it is a good chip. These would be good to make some nachos with. And I'm thinking uh, the cheese and the main thing would be some sour cream. This flavor of this green verde I think would be awesome with some just a little bit of sour cream. Just flavor wise. Not because you got to have the sour cream to cool it down intensely. I just think that would be a good flavor combination. Um, some cheese and some sour cream. A little bit of salsa but mostly the sour cream would go well with these. So the verdict for the chips, I don't know how to rate. These are good tasting chips. I'll give them a 10 out of 10. I would eat these again. Flavorful, not super, super spicy if you're a hothead freak, but a good try and nice level of spice for the flavor and the occasion. So 9 or 10 for the beer, I'll go ahead and give it, yeah, 9 or 10. And a 10 out of 10 for the chips. I like the chips. I could eat another can of those down the road. Thanks for watching. A no frills review of beer and chips. Aloha. Okay, I had to do one more take on this. I may have lied just a little bit. I'm going to intensify the hotness level by just a hair. So if you eat six of these chips in one setting, it's not that bad. If you turn around and eat half the can, the hotness intensifies enough to give you a slight nose run and just a little bit of eye watering. So just a little bit, it intensifies. And I gave one of these chips to my two sons and they thought they tasted terrible. They didn't even eat the chip, they just licked the chip and were done with it. Um, also another side note, it kind of revi reminded me of the uh, uh, sour cream and vinegar chips kind of had just a slight vinegary taste uh might just be me